Looks like it's up to me to recon the area. I need to get some shots of that prison, but I better keep a low profile. I don't want to alert the guards. Sly and Tennessee Kid Cooper are in that high tower. Interesting side. Let me get a shot. Ah, unless I'm mistaken, that is definitely a munitions dump. Very handy. Uh. Uh. some structural weakness along the rear wall. Um, howdy. Out of yourself. Looks like you must have ticked old toothpick off pretty good. I like that. You got a name? It's Sly. Sly Cooper. Now, son, you should know I don't take kindly to folks funnin' on my family name. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I swear, I'm not joking. I can explain. Talk ain't worth spit, boy. Only one way to prove you're a Cooper. Bust us out of here! Right. My friend Bentley's working on that. I hope. Sly, press the square button to... Sly, you need to make your way to the bottom of the tower. Sly, here's your chance. 
Use the ball to break down that door and bust Tennessee out! Okay, kids, stand clear! All right! I guess break time is over. Why am I the only one with a ball in here? Listen, friend, you're planning on hanging me tomorrow. You want to trade? Naturally. Thanks, Bentley. Son, who is it you keep talking to? Uh, I have a thing in my ear that lets me talk to my friend. And now he's telling me you need to carry some of that TNT so we can blow the gate. Sure. I got voices in my head telling me to blow things up, too. Eh, they've been right so far. Let's get to it. Wait by the door while you work this one out. Well, 
Looks like our goose ain't cooked yet. Son. Well, looks like we can mosey along now. Way to go, Fly! Well, it looks like somebody supplied Toothpick with new technology. That is a phased car parade, Fly! What touch means instant death. Switch into your jailbird costume and try using that ball in a different way. Press the R2 button to get on top of it. You should be able to ride it around using the left stick. Figure I'll wait by the door while you work this one out. like I'm not carrying enough TNT to blow myself a king of cum. Huh, that did the trick. Let's keep moving along. So, tell me about Sheriff Toothpick. Toothpick? This shady son of a gun is crookeder than a sack of corkscrews. Plus, he framed me for that bank job and took the gold himself. I just know him.
Well, I'm the one who's got to lug the dynamite. Well, let's get going. I ain't getting any younger. on you. Thanks, but Tennessee, we need to go. You ready? Well, hey, not really. Whoa! Somehow, we had managed to survive and make it back to the hideout. Once there, Tennessee gave us the lowdown, how he'd been planning the bank heist that should have gone down in Cooper Lore as his masterpiece, only to have a mysterious new sheriff arrest him before he even reached the bank. Curiously, the robbery still occurred and all the bank's gold was stolen. Tennessee was charged even though he was already in prison and the gold was never recovered. Of course, he had a strong suspicion it was Sheriff Toothpick himself who had stolen the gold and framed him. And after a little research, there was no doubt he was right. Bentley was able to uncover plenty of information about the Sheriff. Although he changed his appearance somewhat, Toothpick was a two-bit gangster from present-day Eastern Europe. According to his file, he'd grown up loving two things, gold and cowboy movies. He eventually specialized in gold robberies, and for a while had masterminded some of the largest scores around the world. Then he abruptly vanished. The word was he had always thought of himself as a gunslinger, and it looked like he had found a way to make that a reality. The guy was a real loose cannon. We'd have to watch our backs if we were gonna steal back the missing gold and restore Tennessee Kid Cooper's reputation as the greatest outlaw of the Old West. <laughs>